everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back. How are y'all doing today? It is so good to see you again, and thank y'all so much for stopping back in to see what I'm up to. Well, Chris and I are just back from our two-week Voyage of the Glaciers back-to-back -back cruises with Princess Cruise Line. And I'm fixing to start my blog, B-L-O-G, where I will tell you everything about our trip and what a wonderful time we have. And I have thousands, literally, of pictures to share throughout the blog. Uh, I'm coming to you today with a little bit of an introductory video uh, because I didn't think that I'd have a lot of videos to put in a video series. Uh, but it looks like I do have this one video and I'm going to go ahead and start the series with this one video of me packing the day before we left. Uh, and I show you how I utilize my packing folder and my packing cubes and you will find links for both in the description of this uh, video. Excuse Sam in the background there. He just had a drink and he just shook his head with shook water all over my laundry room. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to come and say hi and let you know that I, I will be starting my blog now with this one and there will be a link to the blog that goes hand in hand with this video in the description. If you wanna go ahead and follow me at my blog, please feel free to do so. You just go to countrycraft.me. I'll give you a link in the description. Hover over the bottom right-hand corner until the little follow box comes up and click on that. And all you have to do is just give your email. And then every time I put up a new blog post, you'll get an email. And I not only cover my travel blogs in there, but my crafting blogs. I have, I'm a crafter, as most of you know, and I blog about my crafts, also about my weight loss struggles, about our dogs, you know, all kinds of things. There's a plethora of blogs there on my website uh, right now. So please check it out and please come follow me if you'd like to follow this blog and any blogs I put up in the future. So anyway, I'm gonna turn back time a little bit now. I'm gonna say goodbye to you dressed like this <laughs> and turn the clock back two weeks and I'm gonna start on my blog. And please do, you know, and, and start this video where I started to pack. Uh, so I'm going to be sitting kind of right here again, and I'm going to be talking with y'all just a little bit, just to give you a little bit of an introduction to that video. Uh, but please do check out the blog, too, that I have attached in the description, and then you can even get more information and see more pictures and, and so on and so forth. So come along with me as I retell our, or as I tell you all about our trip to Alaska with Princess Cruise Lines. We had a wonderful time and I have a lot of pictures and it was a trip of a lifetime and lots of memories to cherish. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn it back to myself two weeks ago and for now, I'll just say from here, until next time, y'all take good care, bye-bye. Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner, uh, Arlen's Travels, Arlen's Travels on Facebook, and Alaska Cruises on Princess Facebook group. How are you guys doing today? I'm so excited. It's finally the day I get to pack for our Alaska cruise. So I have everything laid out here on my kitchen uh, island. I don't normally pack at my kitchen island, <laughs> but I thought for these purposes and so that you guys could watch what I do and how I do it, I thought I would go ahead and put it here on the kitchen island and go through everything. Fingers crossed, you guys, that I can get everything in my big suitcase and then we have the 24, I, I'm taking a 29 inch spinner, which you'll see, and then I'm going to go ahead and pack up a 24 inch spinner uh, for, and I'll explain that as I go for other things. So, but anyway, I have everything laid out here. I'm gonna be utilizing my packing cubes and my garment folder. And 
let's see how I do. So I'm going to turn this around and Chris and I are fixing to leave at 2 a.m. tomorrow morning to go to the airport and we're going to be gone for two weeks. So keep that in mind when you see what I'm packing. Even though we can do laundry, I still there are still some things that you know I want to take and we've decided we might do a formal night this time. So I am taking a few extra things that I normally wouldn't take. So anyway, I'll be right back after I get my camera turned around and pointed down and we're gonna get to packing. Be right back. Okay, here we go. As you can see, I've got everything lined up on my kitchen island and I've already started. I had done a video a few weeks back just to demonstrate how to use the packing folder and the packing cubes and that's why you're gonna see just a few things packed. I have not unpacked since then. So, I already have four tops in here. This is a, a Eagle Creek packing folder, and you'll find a, a link for uh, this in the description of this video. So, anyway, I'm gonna get on to packing. I have all my shirts piled up here that I wanna take. So, the way this works is you lay your shirt out face down place your handy dandy packet instruction card it kind of gives you a little picture tutorial there on how to the, how it works and you just fold the sides over just like you would normally fold if you were doing laundry fold your sleeves down Obviously, I'm taking long sleeve shirts. I am going to take a couple of three quarter length shirts, sleeve shirts, and one uh, cold shoulder shirt. Anyway, turn this over and pull out the card. And you do you alternate the, the collars. One goes one way, one way, one time, and then the other way. favorite color red and I thought I could wear this possibly to a formal night maybe kind of blingy and it is kind of sleeves to the elbow I might take more than some, probably, but as I've said many a time, I am not a minimalist and I like choices. And if I can get them all packed and not go overweight, I may have to take some out. You never know, but hopefully I won't go overweight. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and close this up and all you do if I need to open it up and put something back in it I'm sure I can do that let's see how we do it's just like a like you would a, a box or a folder you just pull up the ends and then you pull up the sides and that is it. 
And I still have more room if I wanted to expand it more, but I don't think so. Let me see how much this weighs. Just this. Okay, I gotta take it here because I can't see on top of it. Okay, this by itself is 6.8 pounds. Can you see that? Out of my 50. <laughs> so, that's a pretty good start, I'd say. That's pretty much all of my tops. I do have a cape that I want to take. And I'll show you that when I get to the end. And I do have this little, what do they call this? Uh, just a little cape that I want to wear with the, the navy blue top. All right, so I've pulled this uh, cube over because this is where I'm going to put like camis. I've already packed up my unmentionables, bras, underwear, socks, which I wear just uh, like knee highs. And uh, they're all in all. Yes, every single one of them is in there. Let me see how much this weighs. Oops. 2.4 pounds. So I had 6.8 and 2.4. So that's not even 10 pounds yet. All of my unmentionables, all of my tops except for two and a cape and camis. So I'm going to go ahead and start packing this up. Uh, there may be more to go in this. This is the second to the largest cube. Here's the largest cube here. I'm going to put my slacks in there. But since this was right here, I thought I would go ahead. And I, I do normally roll. I'm going to turn it this way roll my camis and I'm just only taking three I wish I had a red one I couldn't find a red one to go underneath that red top but I figure I can wear black with it and it'll be all right now this is just like a little pajama set I am taking a nightgown but I will explain where that nightgown is going to be packed in a second here but this is just like a little knock around outfit for the evening if we don't want to do anything but we want to kind of hang out in the stateroom just a little something something to put on you know, that's maybe a little bit more comfortable than my day, you know, the close of the day was. Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put this little cape in here. And then I'm going to, well, that is if I can figure out, this is why I didn't put this in the, in the folder, because it's like, you know, how do you fold this? <laughs> I think I'll just wrap it up and I am going to take a turtleneck too actually I have a purple one and this is a very 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 lightweight turtleneck but one of my plans is is to buy a sweatshirt when I get to Alaska and I always like a turtleneck when we're doing our scenic cruising so I didn't want to put this in the folder because this can be just rolled up really small as will the purple one be so I thought I would just go ahead and put that in here okay so that's all that, that will go in there for now until I need more room it's just kind of like the hodgepodge of things I didn't know what to do with you know really my big cape might fit in here too so we'll see I'm gonna get back to that cube let's work on my slacks next because that will be the heaviest cube so where are we we're about at 10 pounds right close to it. I have two pairs in here that I had packed before. I take all black slacks and I'm taking one pair of pretty little pants I'll show you that are not black. You know what? I did not put my, hang on a second, I didn't put my spiffy folding card back in here, which you need to do. Plus it helps to keep it nice and stiff.
Okay. Got all my slacks hanging over here. I haven't totally decided exactly how many I want to take yet. Got two. And even if I wear them, you know, every day during the day, I still might want to change for, e for the evening. Let me see. And I'm going to take these cute pants. Aren't these cute? With that black top. And I think I have a white scarf that I need to go and retrieve. So I thought they would be cute. Little knock around pants. I believe it's the skirt I want. Yeah. Nope, it isn't. You know what? Hang on. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, sorry about that. Here's my skirt. Just a plain, plain black skirt. Nothing special about it, other than it has my hair on it. So there we go. I think that will be plenty with the two that I'm taking, or wear, one wearing and one packing in another bag. Let me weigh this. Obviously it didn't take, there's way more room in this packing cube. Seven point two pounds. So that would be about seventeen point two pounds so far, huh? Plus, how much does the suitcase weigh, hun? Yeah. Oh, get my suitcase over here. And Let's see. Suitcase weighs twelve point eight. So that's seventeen and twelve is. 20, about 30 pounds so far. So I've got 20 to go. I think I'm going to make it, you guys. <laughs> I hope, anyway. I forgot one thing, you guys. I wanted to take, as I said, I'm taking one pair of capris to go with that pretty red top that I just got, just in case. these in. I highly doubt I'll wear them, but you never know. Been hearing of 80 degree days up there. All right. But we're moving into September, so I really would be surprised. Okay, next. Let's work on this. Oh, I wanted to run back. Hang on, I gotta run back and get that white scarf. I'll be right back. Boy, I'll tell you guys, <laughs> gotta take a trip every time I, I wanna uh, get something. And I've been debating on whether I wanna take this or not. This is a scarf that I got when we were in St. John. It's Edinburgh Lamb's Wool. It's very nice. Neither one of my jackets match this though. <laughs> I've got a red jacket and a corally color jacket. And I've got plenty of other scarves, and I've got turtlenecks, so I think I'm not going to take it. I decide it's pretty, but it really doesn't match anything, and I think it would just be something that would just sit and not be worn. But these things I do want to take. Here's all my scarves that I've got rolled up and ready to go. Let me do this one with the black top and the spiffy looking little bear pants there. Thought this would be a cute outfit. It's a big scarf though. <laughs> but have no fear, it will fit, trust me. There we go. Okay, that's all my scarves. And I have a feeling I'm going to buy one. They always have scarves out at their sales on board. I'm going to go ahead and stick a couple of pairs of socks in here, warmer socks, 
and my fingerless gloves. Aren't they cute? I've got two pairs, one black and And I'm going to leave this available just in case I need to put something else in there. You weigh this first, see how I'm doing. six pounds okay now this as I said is the only thing that I have left so let me go and run and get that cape and that one more top and the only thing left will be shoes after that and maybe if I have enough um, weight left over in this suitcase I can add some of my must-haves and whatnot to this suitcase. So let me go get that cape, because I think I am gonna try to take it, because I think I have plenty of weight left, or weight allowance left. Uh, you know, as you know, well, our airline, we're flying Air Canada up, and they don't let you go over 50 pounds of bag. Where you have to, well, we have to pay for our bags with Air Canada anyway, but they still give you a 50 pound limit. So let me go back and get that cape and I will be right back. Obviously not taking these, although I will most likely be taking some of these hangers and I will explain why. And I know you guys are going to go, what? You don't need to take hangers, but I do take them. I'll be right back. Here is my cape. This turtleneck to go under it. These are very thin, as I said, turtlenecks. Almost to the point where you have to wear a cami under it, but when you have the cape on, it covers it. So I'm to take the purple cape. I have three of these capes, one red, tartan red, and then I have one light blue. But the purple one is my favorite. So I'm taking the purple. See if I can fold it in a way to fit it in this cube. If not, it may have to lay over on my on the top with my jackets. Let me see here. Let's see if that works. Hold your breath. Let's weigh it. Where was I? 33 pounds, right? Is that with the suitcase? <laughs> All right, let's see. Four point six pounds. Okay, so open up my suitcase here, get it up on the counter, and we'll start piling things in. That's all my clothes right there, except for my nightgown, which I'm going to be taking in another cube and putting in my smaller suitcase. We are staying in a hotel in Victoria, and I'm packing up an outfit for each of us to wear the next day, my nightgown, and our toiletries, and whatever can't fit in our suitcases in another suitcase, a 24 inch spinner. I hope 
I hope it's all gonna work. So we'll see here. Here's my suitcase. Ooh. It's a 29 inch. This is a 29 inch Samsonite. It looks like I'm gonna have to put my camera up a little. Okay, dokie. There we go. As I said, this is a 29 inch Samsonite spinner. I went for decades without having a spinner. And I didn't know what I was missing. What a pleasure it is. All right. I want to turn it around. Well, I'll leave it this way. I'll just try to unhook the little straps because even though everything is in cubes and in a folder, I still like to. secure everything. So here's the folder. I usually stand it up, to be quite honest, in the bottom. And that's the way I stack them. Smallest to the largest. shoes and my un, uh, my must-haves and we'll see how much I can get in here I'll be right back okie dokie I'm back and I brought my heaviest must-haves bag and I will give you a link in the description to what I take in my must-haves too much to go to, into in this uh, video. These are just hair clips, so this is very, very, very light. Just taking a few here. I do have a couple of princess cups. Should I take these or not? Chris says no. No. Sorry, this just fell down. I'm so sorry. Anyway, we changed our mind. We're taking our cups. Chris gets his coffee in the morning. And you get your coffee from the International Cafe, though, and one of their cups. But you put coffee in this, too? Yeah, yeah. So he always gets my water for my tea and his... In the morning and then I'm going to try to get these shoes in here and then we're gonna weigh them I'll tell you what guys I had to uh, do away with my sketchers I know those of you who've watched me I had to I uh, can't take my sketchers both pairs that I have I've hurt my foot and I've been dealing with some pain in my foot for a while so I actually found these and I will give you a link in the description and cunts k-u-n-s-t-o I bought them a half a size up, and these are so comfy, and they're not heavy. They're not very heavy at all. They're very lightweight. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in. I decided I would bring a pair of dressier shoes, flats. I don't wear heels on a ship, but these will be cute with the maxi skirt, I thought, and they'd be fine for formal night if I want to do that. I thought I would take those, and that's something that I had not said I would take before. And then these are my very old waterproof shoes that I would wear on an excursion if it was cold. These are really nice. These are from L.L. Bean, and they're called Rain Skimmers, I believe. They're not available right at the moment or weren't the other day when I checked, but... As a matter of fact, I'm going to put those because they're kind of, they've had better days, these shoes, but I have a new pair, but I'm just not going to try the new pair, you guys, on a, on a trip like this. I'm just not going to do it. We go ahead and put these into, so I have an extra bag. And I have a feeling I'm about at my weight limit here. 
be nice if I could fit some, I mean, I have room to fit, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to, weight-wise, I don't think I will. Let me weigh this. Actually, I probably need to get Chris to come back in here and pick it up and weigh it. I will try, though. It's pretty heavy. I did want to lay my jackets in the on the top of this too. Let's see. That one said 46.8. Well, I'm going to put my jackets in here, and then I will get Chris to do it for me and see. I'm taking two jackets, one red one, and I got this one a while back, kind of a corally color one, and I am going to buy one there, but. We are taking a carry-on with us, and I'm pretty sure the other suitcase we're taking will not be at weight, at 50 pounds. And again, you know, this is why we have to be so organized when we pack. I do plan on buying an Alaska jacket up there, too. But I wanted to take both of these because, you know, I want to. And again, I'm not a minimalist. I like what I like. And if I can take it all, then I will. Let's see. I don't think I can get this back up on the counter, so hang on. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm getting ready to pack up one cube. He has not picked out his clothes that he wants to wear the day we embark on the ship, so I need to wait for him to really get a good idea about this. But I have my outfit here, and this is my nightgown, and my little knee highs, and underwear in there. So, but this is the cube we're going to take, and, and I'll show you what else we need to put in here. But I wanted to tell you, this is a tag from Shack Pack. And I highly, highly, highly recommend these. So they have a lifetime warranty, as you see, if you register them. I, you know, I cannot speak highly enough. These are thicker than some of the other uh, packing cubes that you might find, but they work beautifully and don't weigh anymore. So here's the outfit that I'm going to wear with a black jacket, like a blazer kind of thing, that I am going to wear to uh, fly there tomorrow. Here's a pair of those black slacks. I bought a ton of them. They don't sell them anymore, which just upsets me to no end. And here's the top. So, nothing that wrinkles. And I'm actually going to be wearing this necklace with it because I just this is I packed up all of my other stuff. So there's my part of the cube, and obviously you can see that we'll be able to fit Chris's stuff in there without a problem in the world. But I'm going to go ahead just for packing purposes and show you. This is the suitcase, the other suitcase that we're taking. This would sit up in here. These are the rest of my must-haves. I have an umbrella in there and my soap and just, again, refer back to my must-haves video. So this needs to go in. This is our medications, which seems like a lot, but it also has like a first aid kit in there and Band-Aids and, uh, you know, a big bottle of Advil because I do get headaches sometimes and Tylenol and cold medicine and bonine and Dramamine just in case we get seasick, we never do. But just in case, wait a minute, you know what I forgot? Hang on. I wanted to show you this too. This is an extra bag that I take along with us. This is a Vera Bradley Weekender bag. And this is you know, carry on compliant. And I take this bag for any overage that we might have and also, because we do princess transfers from the ship to the airport, 
we need to hold back uh, our toiletries for the next morning, you know, what we might be wearing the evening before. This will also carry any extra souvenirs we might have that can go in the luggage and so on and so on. So I do take this extra bag. I always pack it empty, obviously. There we go. And then these two bags. And the only other thing that needs to go in here is my cosmetic bag, which I'll go get. Uh, well, hang on. Let me go get the rest of my stuff, and I'll show you. Okay. Uh, this is my jewelry case. And this is from 31, and that's the jewelry that I'm taking. As you see, I've not filled it all up. Miracles of miracles. <laughs> and I tell you the truth, even though this is uh, costume jewelry, there are times when I just, this will fit in there, a little safe in there. It fits right in there. So that's my jewelry. Here's my cosmetic bag, which will be fatter and much thicker, but leave myself that much space that over there. We'll see once we get Chris's stuff in there. That's going to be a lot fatter. And I think Chris will want to put his cosmetic bag in here too. I've got to ask him about that. This is for my perfume and my shampoo, maybe, hairspray, aerosols, and breakable cosmetics go in here, which will fit there. This, I have several lanyards that I've purchased, really cheap, all of them, but that's what I have in this little jewelry case, just lanyards. Obviously, that can snug anywhere. And then I do have this, but I don't think I'm gonna need it this time. I usually take some travel, empties just in case I need some lotion or I want to wash my hair with my shampoo the day before we leave but I have a travel size this time so I really don't think I need this so I don't think I'm going to take that this time and that's it and then these can go right on top Chris I need Chris's outfit the rest of my cosmetics which will be a lot and Chris's cosmetic bag let me see how I am with my weight on this. I don't think I'm going to be too bad here. Oh my. See, and then I'll have extra room in here if I need to, you know, like say for the jacket that I'm buying. That is if those jackets didn't overweigh that other suitcase. All right, let's see. This is only 20... 5.2 so obviously I've got another 25 pounds I could put in there my cosmetics will be 10 <laughs> I'm sure I don't have that many but <clears throat> my cosmetics and my perfume and you know I only take one perfume but that my friends is let me come around here and sit down and talk with you for a little bit okay well, I think I'm ready to go. I, as I said, I just have to put my cosmetics in that bag, which shouldn't be too horrible. And Chris's, uh, you know, attache case, which isn't very heavy. And that, my friends, will do it. I wonder if he, uh, he did buy me, you know what he did buy me? He got me some tea bags. Uh, I drink uh, Celestial something black tea and they don't have that on the ship, at least they did in the last time we went, so Chris bought me a couple of, couple of uh, boxes of that to take, because I drink at least a couple of cups of tea a day. So I don't know where he put that, so that might need to go in here too, I'm not sure where that is. Also, I have a gift, I forgot about that, it's sitting right over there on the table for my, my precious friend Liz. I do have a gift that needs to go in this bag, so, whoo. It's a, it's a task, you know, but it's worth it. All of it's worth it to have everything that I want or need and more probably. <laughs>
So that's it. We're jetting off to Alaska tonight. And well, tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., but we have to leave the house at like 2 a.m. to get to the airport, get through security, get everything checked in, blah, 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 blah. You know the routine. <laughs> and our next stop will be Vancouver Island, Victoria, BC. So I'm not sure what's next in this. Uh, this is to start my little Alaska series here. So I'm not sure what, what the next video will be. I know I'll probably have blogs, so I will be probably linking blogs too. So, but anyway, I'm not sure how much video and I'll do while I'm up there, but we'll see. But anyway, catch y'all later and I'll just say until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.